what Pfizer did was after they realized that the vaccine worked in adults and was highly effective, the next question was, how do you protect children? We all now know, all of us who got mRNA vaccines, that they're very reactogenic, right? The headache, the fever, the muscle aches, the fatigue. I mean, that was no joke. But it worked. It kept a huge number of us safe. It kept a lot of us out of the hospital. It kept a lot of us from dying. And so that's fantastic. But obviously, we don't want to have a dose that's so high that it makes our kids really sick. We also know that children's immune systems are much more... They're much more uh, vibrant, they're much more active, their immune systems are much more adaptable. So they typically need less stimulus than adult immune systems do. Um, and so Pfizer actually did a dose trial first. They took a small subset of children of different weights and ages and sizes, and they trialed a, a variety of different doses to find a dose that achieved good immunogenicity, so that's good immune reaction with a minimal amount of reactogenicity. So that's the side effects that you get from the vaccine. And that's where they came up with the 10 microgram dosing. The vaccine that we got as adults was 30 micrograms, and our kids will be getting 10 micrograms if they're from age five to 11. Um, and they're actually re releasing a different set of vials that have a different lid color because they're gonna be at a different concentration so that kids get the correct dose.